Okay, let's start the stream. Welcome back. So today we're gonna continue working on the um, wave function collapse implementation that we started last stream. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna continue the research and see where we can take this uh, this algorithm and see what we can do with it. Um, Let's do a quick recap of what we've done last stream. Um, yeah, we're only gonna look at the uh, at this algorithm. With we've, we've also done some things on the game, but yeah, we're gonna this stream we're gonna focus on on this algorithm. Um, yeah, so so the thing that we've done last time is we have this. Uh, let's get rid of this. Yeah, so so we made a yeah we, we we did an implementation of the wave function collapse algorithm, and we've implemented uh, a grid, which uh, which uh, can have in each cell. Um, th those two are not implemented. Currently, we we can only use those four those four cell types, which are uh, an empty cell, uh, a horizontal road and a vertical one, and also a cross road. And what it does. Or what we can do with it, if we play the game, we will see that we'll get multiple outputs, which are basically, uh, I think there are 10 or 25 grids, not sure, actually, 25. So there are 25 grids in the list, and each uh, each one of them uh, respects the rule of the of those roads and the, uh, of those tiles. And it creates uh, a random, uh, yeah, a random grid with uh, with those uh, with those four tiles, which yeah, respect the the rules. So so the the um, the tiles do make sense. And what we're gonna do today is so so currently. All the logic for for those tiles are kept, yeah, or are are hard coded in the code. And uh, today we're gonna change that. We're gonna extract a lot of data into uh, scriptable objects, and uh, use the data from that to 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 basically, yeah, uh, set up those rules from from the editor and not from the from the code. And after that, we're gonna add. Uh, 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 more, uh, more types of uh, of tiles, so you can have more interesting results. Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna start with with some um, data modeling. So as I said, we're gonna do some. We're gonna uh, save the, the the cell types in some scriptable objects. So we're gonna do some refactoring this code. So let's start by doing that. So first, well, let's create a class called for its cell type. Or let's just call it. Hmm. Let's just rename the cell type from here um, to something else. Actually, no. Let's just be brutal and do do it like this. But the problem was that the 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 name of the enum was clashing with the with this. With of the uh, class here. Read asset menu. Yeah, we don't care. We're just gonna keep it like that. Or actually, let's put it somewhere. Function collapse. Cell type. 
uh, this. Okay, so what do we need to 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 hold in the step? Um, we basically so 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 for rules to work. We need to know how the cells can connect to each other. We'll have to to define the the rules that we have, so rules that we currently have in code. So, for example, this is code for the uh, for looking at the the neighbor in the north. And yeah, those are those are the hard coded rules for uh, what um, what cells can stay uh, next to each other on the vertical axis. So we wanna we want to uh, move this to into into the type here and describe it somehow. So I was thinking of doing another scriptable object, um, something like this. Uh, scriptable object. Function collapse, cell connection, and then what we can do. So, so we don't we don't need to specify anything in this in this class. Uh, but what we're gonna do in the cell type here, we're gonna say. Uh, no, let's do it the uh, the. the Correctly. So let's make it private cell connection. Connection north. Make this a serialized field. And now I th think I can do this. Uh, I don't have to specify the type yet, that's right. So north, south, east, and west. So those are our four connections, and actually, we could do it like this. Is there private? And for now, that should be everything that we need. Let's make um, let's make a folder here. Cells. Um. Yeah. So so we're gonna have. For now, at least, we're gonna have two type of connections. So, connection. Um, let's call it. I don't know. Grass, and the other one is gonna be connection road. And let's see. Um, We're gonna rename. So in the code, we had a cell type called empty. This one, I'm gonna rename it to grass. It's easier to to understand what's what's happening here. But yeah, so now we have this type of cell, which is grass, and we have to define. Um, yeah, what what does it have in all of its uh, on all of its edges? And because it's grass, it's gonna have grass all around all around the tile. Now let's recreate the other ones. So cell. I'm gonna make a horizontal road, which means that uh, in the north and the south, we're gonna have grass. North. South and the east, uh, east and west, we're gonna have road. Let's make the uh, no, not connection, but uh, a cell type. Uh, cell vertical road, and it's gonna be the opposite on the east and west, we're gonna have grass, and north and south, we're gonna have road, and the last one. Uh, is gonna be a 
road and it's gonna have roads everywhere okay so now we've defined those those four um cell types and we've uh assigned for each of them uh what type of connection they have on each uh, on each of their sides Okay, so now what we have to do is um, we're gonna have to change this um, this code to 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 use those uh, those scriptable objects instead of the uh, instead of the enum. So the first thing that we're gonna do actually uh, let's make a private cell uh, cell type array. We're going to need a way of knowing all the cell types available. So for now, I'm just going to do an array here. Actually, uh, let's block it. Just drop it here. OK, so now the, the, the code knows about all our, all our cells. And yeah, so now now we have to, to see how we can how we can make this work. So um the first thing that we have to do is replace this so, so the options here uh, they shouldn't uh, they shouldn't use the old cell type they should use the new cell type uh and we won't be able to instantiate that like like that uh what we'll have to do is yeah so so the code is all broken right now, but we're gonna fix it. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this. Uh, this won't work anymore. Um, yeah, what we'll do is uh, um, Cell and here option equals options. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna populate uh, each of the cells in the uh, each of the cell, uh, cells in the group with the those those we've defined in the in the interface. So now the first part is done. So have the uh, we have those scriptable objects in the in the class now we have to use them so the first thing um yeah the first thing that i'm gonna uh, replace i think is the debug method so let's do uh, something here uh no still put a string um display character uh, and we're gonna do a public string so instead of having this assignment here what we're gonna do is in cell options we're actually gonna ask for the display character directly. So the the, the cell itself through the width option is gonna know uh, what type of, uh, what type of character to display. And we'll have to do the same for um, we have to expose those those for a connector so. Let's do that. So connection. Uh, 
to north. Let's duplicate this. So north, south, east, west. So the debug method is fine now. And now all that left to do is to fix those, those rules here. Now, uh, question is, how do we do this? So, so or, or actually, what do we have to do? We have to compare. Um, Let's let's first look at the at the north neighbor. So what do we have to do here? Um, we're looking at the current cell. And here instead of this this uh, switch expression we have to say those two cells can be each other if uh, the cell option dot so the north connection of current cell is equal to the option dot connection sub. I think that's what we have to do. For the south is return cell option dot connection south has to be equal to the option dot connection north. Let's do it like this. I like it better. This uh, this is the east. So cell option dot connection east has to be the same as option dot connection west. And this has to be the opposite. So return cell option dot connection west has to be equal to option dot connection east. I think that that was the last error. So I think if this works, this should be everything that we have to do. Okay, so we don't have uh, errors anymore. Uh, one thing that we have to do though is let's assign the the display characters for those cell types. There's going to be a space, horizontal row is going to be minus, and vertical row is going to be a plus. Well, hello. Now this looks like something. Let's focus on uh, on a single uh, on a single grid and, and actually let's make it bigger. Let's make it twenty by twenty. But it seems to work. 
which is incredible. And look at that. Now isn't that amazing? And now the thing that I wanted to do since yesterday, I wanted to diagonal roads. Oh my god, it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. Let's let's make diagonal roads. Uh cell type. Um uh, cell main diagonal road. So main diagonal would be actually it's not really um, No, that's not. Uh, we have to do four diagonal roads. Yeah. Let's call it. Uh, Northeast road. So from the north to the east. Uh, so north would be road, east would be road, and the other ones would be uh, grass. That. We're gonna duplicate this, and we're gonna do the same for uh, southwest. Is it faster to do it like this? I'm gonna use the same character. So southwest, so this is road, this is road. Yeah. And I will have to do the other one. Uh, or the other two actually. Cell. Uh, Northwest road and the other one's gonna be southeast. So we're gonna use the the other slash character. Okay, so north uh, northwest. So north would be road. South is grass, east is grass, and west is road. And this. Uh, southeast, so north is grass, south is road, uh, east is road, and west is grass. So now, if this works, I should be able to just drag those cell types here, and if I create a new, or if I run it, I should have diagonal roads. That looks chaotic as hell. This might actually be correct, though it is chaotic as hell. Um, I have two options. I have... I, I want to try two things. Uh, let's search for... Um, so first we'll look at this. Um, yeah, I think we'll have to do something else. I think we'll have to expand this and, oh, oh, this looks like something. Now the only problem is, uh, yeah, let's check this. It it might not work because of the of the font that uh, Unity uses. 
might not pour those characters. But let's try this. So, so what I, what have I copied here? So it is a uh, uh, southwest. So southwest. It will have this character. Okay, that's a, that's a good sign that we can see it in the in the input there. Let's see if it. Oh, well, hello. Um. This would be north east. Um. This is northwest, and uh, southeast. Holy fuck! <laughs> oh my god, it works! Let's replace those other ones. Um, horizontal road, uh, no, I've got vertical road, so vertical road, uh, uh, let's get the, get this one, horizontal road, uh, let's get the plus sign, which is all bold, I think this one, for the crossroad, let's play. Holy shit. Do I have a, f uh, uh, oh yeah, we do have, do I have a horizontal line which is like, like this bold? No, we don't. Okay, let's use, I don't like the dotted lines, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna replace the characters for the, for the roads. So I've copied the horizontal road and this is gonna be the, Vertical road. Holy shit! We have done it! Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> let's make this big let's make this like uh 50 by 50 cells okay now this is taking a while to compute What? What? It was not able to compute everything? What? Confused. Uh... Let's get this output and paste it in Sublime. Whoa. Okay. I don't know why why it was not able to compute this. But man, look at how pretty it is. Damn. I don't know what's happening here. And do we have... Yeah, we do have eight cell types, right? Yeah, eight cell types. It was not able to go to compute those cells for some reason. Oh, I know exactly why. I know exactly why. We have a we have a limit of how many it can take to solve. Actually, let's let's just increase this by ten times. Yeah, we didn't have. It, it needed more steps to solve this. So it might just be that if we run it again, 
We might see more of it. I don't know if we're gonna see all of it, but for sure we're gonna see more of the more of the pattern. Come on. Yeah, this takes a while. Crap. We have it. Yeah, this is gonna be another thing that, that I would like to do. Is, uh, take this algorithm and uh, transform it into a job. So it can run on another thread. Holy shit, this looks nice. Holy crap. Awesome. This is actually awesome. Now, one other thing that we can do, I think, is let's say we want to have more more empty spaces i th think we can just add the grass cell type um a little bit more uh, mm, no this might not work because of the 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 distinct call that we added here where is it might not work because of this. Uh, it won't work because of that. But it would be cool to, to choose if you want to see one type of, of cell uh, more than others. Yeah, so that's the other uh, thing that I would like to do. Yeah. So, so what that would mean is, let's see, we should have uh, either one or two uh, random ranges. Yeah. So, so this. Or, or more more like this I'd like this range to be you know not random I'd like to add weights to it to each cell and take those weights into consideration so let's say I want I want yeah as I, as I wanted to here I want I want I want more grass than than any other type of road so I just uh, make the the weight of the grass uh, bigger let's just try it just for fun but I think it's gonna we're gonna have the same out because of that thing we'll see uh, another intricate uh, design Also, there actually no. Before this, I think I'm gonna. Uh, I wanted to do some optimization to this. Yeah, so this looks the same. I mean, it it, it has like the same density. There's nothing. Uh, there's nothing different between this and this. It has like the same density. So it's better that I 
that I said that I want grass tiles. Uh, that I it doesn't matter that I specified that those grass types more than one. So let's just delete them. Can I? Oh, I have to press this twice apparently. Okay, so we're still we're back at eight tiles. Okay. Now, as I said, I would like to add weights. Let's make the grid smaller. Um, let's make it 20 by 20. No. Uh, uh, what should we add? Yeah, let's add weights first, because that would be that would be very interesting to see how it behaves with with the weights. And after we're gonna do some optimization to the code. Um, make it a little bit more friendly to the UN memory. This is no, no longer needed. Let's get rid of it. Get cell at is, yeah, it is used. It's the only place where it's used. Okay, uh, we're gonna do this. Is also used, and I sh shouldn't use this. Doesn't make sense to use this. I mean, now that we're here, okay. Let's get rid of this code. Propagate is going to be private. This can be private. Okay. I guess that's everything. There's there's one other thing that I, that I would like to do. Uh before the weights. So so one thing that I don't like is that we have connections that like here here we have a crossroad, and it points outwards to nothing. So I don't I don't like having crossroads at the at the edges or roads that point to nothing. So I would like to do um here. so here try get cell at. So when we're outside of bonds, I'd like to instead of return null. I think it would be cool to return uh, the the grass cell. So let's do that. Let's have another private uh, cell type uh, and uh, border cell out of bounds cell type. No, just sell. And here, private, private. this and instead of null here, I'm gonna say I want that oh no I need to specify a uh, that's not what I want I don't want a cell type I want a cell this might be but let's try it. So I want to make a new cell with x equal to x, with y equal uh, x equal to x. 
y equal to y and options equal to this. And now let's pass this in here. Grass. So now with this change, what I would like to see is that point outwards, out of the grid. Which did not happen. Okay. It did not work. That's a fail. Oh, yeah, I don't think it would work. Oh, this is, yeah. Uh. Yeah, that won't work correctly. Yeah, never mind. Uh, yeah, that won't work correctly. We'll need another solution for that. So for now, we're gonna keep it with. Uh, we're gonna remove it, and we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do the weight. Yeah, that won't work. Because, yeah, me making a cell there, it would just... Uh, I think it would just mess uh, mess with, uh, with the propagate method. Because it's gonna be added if I just generate neighbors like hell. It would, they would be added to the, to the cells to check and this would explode I think and I think here we were saved by by 10 maybe I don't know um Let's do the weights. Uh, let's remove this. Yeah. So cell type. Um, I said that we want to do to add a weight here. So private and weight. Public int. Please. Space. Okay. And what we need to do here is is this random call. This is what the the one that we wanna uh, replace. And this uh, this we don't care about. Yeah, so the the range that or, or the random that we want to change so it takes the, the the cell weight into consideration. Okay. Private um, cell type. Oh, 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 oh. Also, we made static. So, what I'm going to receive is um, an array of cell types. Uh, 
I'm gonna return null also just so we don't have an error here. Um, yeah, so first we want to do a sum of all the weights. So option and I think I can specify yeah I can give a, a method here. So option dot weight. Uh, then we're gonna do random, which is gonna be range zero and sum. And then here we're gonna do a for each. Options, option, um, so let's see, how do we do this? Um, random minus option that wait is less or equal to zero i think i'm gonna return the option no i'm gonna do this either way and if it doesn't pass to all of those options of I think that's what we have to do. Um, okay, I think that's it. Now we have to assign uh, weights to, to each of the pieces. Uh, let's assign uh, a weight of, actually let's select all of them. Let's uh, let's assign a weight of one to all of them. Yeah, everyone has one, and now we should have the same that we did uh, previously. What's the size of the grid? Twenty by twenty. That should be fine. We should have the same output we did before, more or less. We kind of don't have. Uh, those corner pieces, or there are less of them. Now that is interesting. There are only eight here, okay. Also, actually, this is gonna. This should be like this. What? Now it's fine. The hell? Okay, now it's fine. Okay. So now we, ha we have the same output that we have previously, with the exception that now we can do something like this. Let's say that the, the, the grass has a weight of five. And now if I create a graph, I should have more grass than, hey, I have more grass than roads. Like there are more patches of grass than there are roads. And it should become more obvious if I increase this like to 20 let's say have just a few roads nice let's make uh let's generate more graphs let's generate 10 graphs or grids i mean uh 
Okay, this is taking a. It's understandable. Nice. Let's go even crazier. Let's say that we want a weight of 100. Should be. It should barely see any roads in the grid. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this graph. It has just this bit of road and this thing. Nice. But it's, we still have some that do have do have roads. Like like long roads, I mean. But man, this looks awesome. Now let's say that we let's keep this down. Let's put it yeah, let's put it at one. And let's say that we encourage uh vertical roads. So let's say we want more vertical roads than any other type. We just see like a lot of vertical lines in the grids now. <laughs> Oh my god, this looks awesome. This looks awesome. Cool. Um, let's say that we want more of those types of roads instead of crossroads. Let's put crossroad at, at like two. I put it uh, those are five. Yeah. Let's see what's happening. What's gonna happen? So now we should see more like long roads without any crosses. Nice. This is nice. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so now we have we have weights for the cells. We can add more cells if you want to. Um what we should do now is first of all uh, clean up the code a bit. Um don't need those uh, those logs anymore because we know the code works okay Cool. So now what you have to do is get rid of as many uh, memory allocations as we can from the code. Because we do have a few. For example, this. We should get rid of, of stuff like this. Not sure exactly how, but. I mean, I do have some ideas, but. So this is one. Uh, is, are there any more that we need to take care of? I don't think so. 
Uh, yeah, actually, this is this is one of them. Here, we set those ones here. One. There's also an allocation. Those those are allocations. this I think that's it. I mean, there's another, I mean, there's this, which does an algorithm, but that's uh, really not important for the algorithm. Because we are creating strings and we should use the string builder for this. But it's not that important. Yeah, so we have to uh, to do those options differently, so we don't have to recreate those 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 arrays again. I have to think about this for a bit. Uh, I'm gonna take a short break, and then I we're gonna come back and uh, do some optimization to the code. So, uh, see you in a bit.
Okay, I'm back. Yeah, so <laughs> I still don't have a very good idea how to do this. But we're just gonna roll with one of the one of the ideas, uh, ideas that I have and see see how well it works. Um, Actually, let's. Hmm. With the options, 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 options. I think I'm gonna. The first one I'm gonna tackle is this one. So, here, what I was thinking of doing is instead of having a list, I was thinking of having. A, a fixed array which I instantiate when we create a grid um, so something like private it's a still array propagation list propagation helper let's call it and this is gonna be a actually it's gonna be the same as the grid. It's gonna have a max size of width times height. And here should be this should not be indented like it should be like so. So we're gonna have index var length, it's gonna be equal to one. This uh, index is equal to per cell. So while it's less than length, we're gonna do this. Here, when we say add, we're not gonna do actually add, but we're gonna do propagation helper of length plus length plus plus is equal to nn, and we're gonna do actually the same for 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 each one of them. Sin. So south neighbor, uh, uh, what is this? East neighbor and west neighbor. Cool. So now this should be the same as it was before with the exception that, uh, let's make only one with the exception that we are not making a new list each time we call propagate, we are reusing this array, which has a fixed size. And yeah, it still works. And the reason and why it should always work is because we can't we can't have more cells in here than like all the cells in the grid. So that's why I've made it the, the, the biggest size possible. So it doesn't matter in which case we we are, we should always have enough space to, to put our, our uh, to save our cells in there. Okay, so one problem tackled. Uh, this is another one. Uh, 
man. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep this like this, at least for now. It's not, it's not such a big problem. Um, what I might be able to do, though, is get rid of these two array here. And make my own uh, min method. That... Uh, Actually, can I do? If I do this. What properties do I have here? So I say, get enumerator. I'm wondering if I can detect if I have a, a value there uh, without making it an array. Because I don't need it to be an array. I just need to know if I have a value there. So the only thing that I can do is get a numerator, which gives me one of this. And this. It can do is get current and there are yeah I don't know actually no I will, we're just gonna keep it like this and tackle it uh, some other time that this is not the big problem the big problem that we have is those uh, those options that we yeah those new those those new arrays that we make every time we we visit a cell that's that's the biggest problem that we have right now. So one idea that I have uh, it would be to instead of having an array of options to have a uh, actually no it, sh it wouldn't be a hash set uh, no not that's not what I think about it should be a dictionary which is which a dictionary is not the best thing that we can have. Yeah, we can have two arrays. I actually don't need all the arrays. We only need one. Full array. An option. So, we, instead of having an array of cell types for each cell, we would have a array of options which basically it is a boolean array so and and what it would do it it say it would say for each um for each value in this array that we define in the yeah that that we have for the grid like the, the list of all the of all the cell types which one of them are still available to use in this cell so it basically would true if we can put a cross row and say false if we can't put a grass style and yeah the same for for the rest and with this wh what we're able to do is not have to recreate the array every time because the array is because right now the the these options is, is shrinking every time but this one 
we just have to to set uh, to set a value to false or to set to, to put false at the center index the 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 array uh, the array side would say the same so let's try to do this The, the biggest problem with it is uh, this part. But this is the, the thing that I don't know how to do. With, with this new, with this new th uh, variant. So, actually no, let's, let's uh, use the, let's collapse those. Let's see, for the n north neighbor, as option so what actually i don't have to do an assign what i would have to do is i'd have to do a for loop okay i would have to do a for loop yeah um And set this to false. I would have to go through all the options of the. This I can go with a for loop. I don't care about that. Oh no, I, I can't use the, oh, my bad, no. I need to use the has option here as well. Yeah, it's gonna be a for loop because we need the index. If uh, sell that has option of I, is false we're gonna continue because we don't care if we don't have that option and if we do have that option i think we'd have to do this for the j instead of an i here do um one thing that i need for sure is i'm gonna keep those options saved so private cell type array options options equals options and here i'd have to do an if and say if um options of i but this is the current cell so i want to look at the north connection if this is different than the options of j dot south connection the nn that has uh, no and then that has option of j it would be false return to false I think that's what we have to do I think that's it private uh, bool a private uh, void
labs, Excel parent, Excel uh, neighbor, um, labs, collapse, collapse, collapse. Um, Um, yeah, don't be a trip, please. <laughs> don't be a troll, John. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to do this uh, generic. We're going to keep it like this. So those two should do the thing. So I think I can just replace. Oh what? Oh I I, I do something. I can do something. Um. Yeah, I can reuse the same the same variable for the neighbor. So actually, I can copy all of this, and this is uh, south and north. So here should be south, and here should be north. Uh, here. Uh, this should be n. This should be n. And with the var here. This is east and west. West is also n. And the last one, this is west and east. West and east. Okay. So another one down. But we we can't test this yet. Um, we still have a, a couple of things left to to fix. Actually, let's comment this. Okay, so this is one of them. Um, it's busy. It ha um so uh, can't use any. Ah, god damn it. Oh, but what I can use is the count though, right? So what I can do is, I'm gonna, uh, no, where, I'm gonna do where, option, 
option where is true count. Oh, I can do a count directly. Yeah, that's that's right. I'm only counting the ones that are true, and it ha I need to have more than one. Okay, so that's that's one of them. Uh, we have options here where we assign the grid. Uh, this is not correct. What we should do here instead of assigning the options, we should do uh, has option equal to new. Uh, options at length. I'd like to be able to populate it with uh, with true. Actually, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna do a um, public cell and options count as options is new book of options count i'm gonna do a for loop of options count this of i equals to true so here we don't have to assign it we have to um options at length i have to do this As empty cell. Uh, um, it has an empty cell if it's no none. Uh, any yeah that should do it and it is solved if uh... still has option as option dot count come on o to o o to not zero o o o o to o actually yeah, it's a good one oh yeah i can do the same the same thing uh here as uh you can use count here too so it's empty has empty cell if it has one that has no options. Public and Okay. That should work. And now the only thing left to do is this one. Bool, um, some of option. Uh, how do we do this? Um, Uh, 
I want to do a where. Um, option is true. No, I can't. I, I have to. I have to find them because I need to keep the index. No, so I have to do the sum here. So O and index. It would be if O. O if O then. Uh, this can't be static anymore. Options of i that wait, otherwise it's zero. Oh, don't tell me I don't. I can get the the index from this. Oh, that's. God, I mean, that's shit. Um. That's. Ah, god damn it, I hate this. Oh shit. I can get the index. And that's, that's not a very big problem I can do. This totally weird. No, ah. Um. What if I implemented this method? I had this problem somewhere else, I think. Hmm. C sharp link to um, some index. That's not what I want to do, though. Yeah, I know I can do this, but I don't like this. Um, how do I do this sum? I mean, obviously, I can do it up, but not that way. Uh, no, I can do it with a for each. I need to do it a for loop. I don't have another option, so I'm gonna do sum is zero, sum plus equal uh, option of i. If that is so, options of i dot wait, otherwise zero. So that's a for loop. Um, also. Uh, return the uh, return the index because that's what actually uh, that's what we want actually not the not the actual cell type. Um, this one I'll transform it into an index. I again. I don't need this. Trans of I turn I. As option, uh, 
for sale the as option dot length this of i equals uh, is equal to i if i is equal to rat salt type then true otherwise false actually i don't need this okay and another error in the debug options count The options of zero, no. Uh, it's not of zero, I need the first index. Uh, cell has option first, I don't have a first index. Uh, but what I do have is, so it would be actually, it's going to of something dot display character and here have system dot array dot index of you want to search in this and want to search for the first true in the list sure why not hey now that's this should do it this should do it Well, that's shit. I have no solution. Might be a fluke, but I doubt it. Okay, we have a problem. Who would have guessed? Uh, not console. Um, I think it's just going out after one iteration. Yeah, okay. So let's look at those two things. As empty cell, if a if one of the cells has yeah, and is solved if all of them have a count of one, which is correct. Now let's see which one of them is false. Because one of them is going to be false. The second one is solved. 
Oh no, but of course, no, we need to look at the true one. So it has empty cell. Okay, so this is the problem. Okay, let's do a debug call here. And make the, the grid smaller. Let's do a 5x5 grid. Just so that it's easier to to trace to and to look to look. Okay, that's a big problem. Those question marks are not correct. Are not correct at all. Okay, let's try a, let's try a grid of two by two. I'll do actually it doesn't really matter. Yeah, we need those uh We got we got a horizontal rope there. Okay, I need another debug view. Yeah, so here, top of everything that it that this thing is doing, uh, I'd like to say. Actually, first let me rename this because I'm getting um, display grid. Okay. Okay, now. Debug that log. I want cell um, cell dot x cell dot y have trans options. Um. Options dot where I don't care about the value, I care about index. And as option of Q. Actually, that's it. Now let's see this. So this has a has a northeast. That's correct. Um. Okay, so southwest, this one has a crossroad, horizontal road, a northeast or a southeast, that's correct. 
bus road, vertical road, and the north one, and this one has nothing. And that is totally strange. Why would it have nothing? It's like the, the same problem that we had previously, but... Uh, So I'm looking at one option here. Oh, I think this has to be... So I want to keep this option. I think I, I uh, okay. I think I need to do the four loops the other way around. Yeah. I look at all the options of the neighbor from the north. And I keep... I keep the option if at least... One option from the current cell has a connection. Which that translates to it should be false if none. None. So if this has a connection, like, this flag is going to turn to true. If not flag, it's going to get turned to false. Uh, this should be uh, false. So this should remain false if I go through all the current cells options and I don't find a cell that can connect to the neighbor's one. Okay, I th think that should do it. I think that should do it. This is south north. South. 
north. This is east west. And this is west east. Okay, let's try it now. I think it's gonna work now. Hello. Uh, this looks like shit. I mean, it, it found the solution, let's say, <laughs> which is not correct. Okay, now it still doesn't work. Do which should. What? This choice is totally weird. So let's look at so so it would be so this is the current cell. No, this would be the current cell, and I'm looking at, at the south neighbor. And I'm saying, I look through all the options of the south neighbor. Wait. Yeah. I look at the options of all the options of the south neighbor. And I'm going to disable it. Wait, 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 what? Wait. This is the current one. Let's make a, an even smaller grid. Let's make a grid that is one by two. That's correct. Let's try until we find one that doesn't make sense. This does make sense. Yep, this is wrong. I put the debug after after a while loop and after okay so here it finished okay Okay, so I chose a vertical row, then those are the, 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 the options that, that were left for the for the top piece. A crossroad vertical road and all with the south. That's correct. But for some reason you choose horizontal road. That's a problem. Okay, it might come from this? Might come from this, maybe. Oh, of course it does. Oh, of course it does. If options of I, if not options of I, 
continue. Don't look at the options that are not present on the uh, are not present in the cell. Hello. Let's remove some of our logs, like this one. I'm gonna keep that one. Let's make the grid bigger, let's say 10 by 10. I think this is gonna work now. Hello, there we go. Yep, it's working again. And here we can even see the the way the algorithm works. Cool. Okay. Okay, so now let's see what what's happening if what's happening if I do a 100 by 100 grid. It should be. I mean, I haven't tried it with the other version, but it should feel faster. I mean, we shouldn't we shouldn't have allocations. I'm gonna do a profile run after this one, but uh, I mean, it still has to do a lot of calculations, but. Uh, Having no allocations should help. God damn, this takes a while. But have I tried 100 by 100 time? Or was it 50 by 50? Mm -hmm. I can't remember. What if I undo this? I think those are the big ones, right? Yeah, 50 by 50, okay. okay this is still going. <laughs> Yeah, so even if it goes for like like a while, that's not a problem because we have this. Uh, we still have this guard in here, which says that it can do more than ten thousand steps. So something sh still should show up eventually here. After after those steps are are done. This takes a while. Because I can't even stop it. The the editor is is frozen. Oh we got a solution. Ah, screw oh, message truncated. Can I uh oh yeah I can copy it. But hello, uh, there are 100, okay, so it is 100 by 100, but, but you need to truncate the message, but still, this is actually working. Holy shit. Have I got back to, to one weight for everything? No. Let's put a, a big weight for, for grass again, like uh, 20. And let's make the grid smaller. Let's go back to 50 by 50. Yeah, for sure. 
uh, felt faster than the not the previous one, but the but the last time we did the fifty by fifty. But this, holy shit! Holy shit! Let's add more cells. Let's make it even, even better. Let's increase the chance of grass happening. Let's see what else. Let's try to make a, I don't know, maybe something like a, a house or something. Uh, or, I don't know. Let's use this as a as a house. Create cell type cell house. As a display character, it has a weight of one. Uh, and I'm gonna make it so it needs grass in all direction except the south. And let's add it to the list. What is my house here? Let's make a. Actually, let's do something. Uh, let's. Uh, no, not here. Uh, let's expose the the grid size in the the interface private uh, and grid width, grid height. This is the grid width. It should be the grid height. Uh, let's inverse this. Actually, it was correct before. If this, it's if it's solved, display a grid. Actually, am I am I wanna? Display every time, but if I as empty cell, I'm gonna also say it doesn't have a solution. And let's get rid of the uh, get rid of the for loop. Let's do uh, time at uh time since level load sure this minus the Start. This should uh, should uh, give us the the number of seconds since the. I mean uh, the, the the number of seconds the the algorithm uh, the algorithm took to calculate the grid. So let's do a uh, let's do a fifty by fifty again. Let's add back the house cell. Let's save. Let's see this in action. <laughs> this failed. No, no, it did not fail. No. It actually worked, and this totally this failed actually. Um, yeah, let's just copy paste this. Actually, can I? If it's not truncated, I think I may be able to do 
this. Yeah. So I was thinking that maybe maybe I failed because. This character takes more than one space, I don't know. That's not, that's, that's not cool. Um. Instead of having a character, let's put an age from house. And that's gonna fix it. And also, uh, uh, C sharp get get timestamp. This is, I guess, what I want. Uh, but I don't know what. Okay, let's try it now. Seven seconds. Deselected log. Let's be. That's not the one I wanted to copy. There we go. We have houses. So let's see any. That I, that I thought was wrong. Yeah, here. So I defined the house, or the, the rules for the house. I wanted to have uh, the grass, uh, that, uh, to have it grass uh, uh, on its right. And I thought because of the, the vertical row that it, it was not correct, but it is correct because the connection of the vertical road, uh, connection on the, on the left is actually a, of a grass type. So yeah, that it, it does what I told it to do. And yeah, all the houses have a have a road at the bottom sticking out of them. That's nice. And now the thing is, I can add even more cell types and D 
the algorithm should be fine with it. And just do the calculations. Um, is there anything else? Actually, have I? Oh, the two. Okay. So there are the two allocations uh, left in here. Yeah, I'm not gonna fix it now. It's not a, it's not a big problem. What else can I add to this? What else? What 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 would be interesting to add? Maybe. Mm. Actually, I don't know. So uh, actually, let's try to. Actually, do I have all the corner? Yeah, I do have all the corner pieces. Let's try to replace the rows to make it look, uh, to make them look more interesting. So horizontal row. Let's try this one. This would be vertical road. Uh, north east would be this. Oh, I actually, I can look at the the shape of this. So this, uh, this southwest is this, and I don't think I have done the crossroad. No, I haven't. Let's get the crossroad as well. Let's see how it looks with uh, a horizontal road. Yeah, I've done horizontal road. Let's see how it looks with, with those characters. Yoy. Ha. This looks so dope. Let's say that we want more, uh, more grass, if, if, even more grass, like 100. Let's put the weight of, of, of grass uh, to 100. Let's see what it does now. We should have more patches of grass. Doesn't really look like a like it has bigger patches to be honest. No, no, okay, no, no, it it is. In the in the previous example, it, the, the roads are more dense than they are now. And it might get more obvious if we increase this to like let's see three hundred. Try again. Yeah, this looks even. Yeah, it's more 
Yeah, it's uh, it's less dense. Cool. Yeah, so one thing that I that I would like to do now is tweak the algorithm a bit and I would like it to be tileable. I like it to be tileable. So what does that mean? That means that we will always get a neighbor. Let's do a x equals two. So it's gonna be x mod. Uh, what is it with? Plus with mod width and y is the same but with height. So basically, what this does is it's whatever whatever you put in here for the x and the y, and it keeps them between the between the ranges of zero and zero and width or, or height it's just, it's just gonna loop around so now what what should happen um, let's make a smaller let's make a smaller let's make a 10 by 10 let's say What I'm expecting to see now is let's decrease the let's put a f not five most in the number uh, fifty. Okay. So now what I would expect to see is haha. <laughs> there we go. Those two pieces are tileable, and they should be tileable on the horizontal axis as well. Actually, I can test it by doing. No, uh, how do I do this? Uh, boom. Copy. No. Paste that failed. Uh, I can do it from the code actually. So we're gonna update this and actually, I can't do it. I'm gonna do it manually. Yeah, this looks nice. Let's 
reset okay the smaller one uh, and let's reset every way to one when i made the smaller one when i said to my smaller one, this is a five five Is a ten by ten. What are you? Oh, I copied the wrong thing. Actually, I can. Yep, there you go. It is styleable. That is actually nice. The thing is, for uh, for the game, uh, for our game, we would like to to have a I mean, not 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 necessarily styleable, but um. So we basically would um, so we would have a we have the cylinder which is the which is the tower which looks like shit uh, that's better and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a grid which wraps around tower. So if you can imagine, yeah, the, the on the on the on the horizontal axis, the the, the the there won't be any like edge. The, the 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 grid should be continuous. The yeah, how to how to better explain it? But uh, you would, we would only have edges on the top, the bottom, and we don't care what what I mean. Theoretically, we don't care what what's there. But uh, on the horizontal axis, uh, we, we want it to be continuous. We don't want to we don't want to have a seam between uh, between the the two edges, let's say, two imaginary edges. Now, with this code, the only thing left to do, or the only thing that I would like to do next, is um, write it in job and see if, it, if I can do anything in parallel. So that would be one. And the second is burst to to accelerate the job to make it run run faster. So those would be the two things. I mean, making it making it work with burst won't be that hard. But that would be like the next thing that I would do is uh, try to rewrite it in such a way so I can use. Uh, so I can use, uh, so I can put it in a job. So I can make it uh, not necessarily multi-threaded, but so that the code doesn't run on the on the main thread. Because one one downside that it has right now, so in, in the in the uh, that uh, that there is in the current implementation is that. Um, let's wait for this to to finish. So for a, for for a bigger uh, 
for a bigger grid while we wait for the for the grid to, to, to be solved the, the editor is frozen so that's 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 not good And having it uh, run on a, on a separate thread that would be amazing. But yeah, that's not something that we're gonna do today. The the goal for today, I think it's. Uh, I, I I've already met the met the goal. So we we've uh, moved everything into into scriptable objects. There's nothing hard coded in. I mean, yeah, nothing hard coded in. Uh, the code it is efficient from 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 a memory perspective. I mean, I mean, I don't I don't think there's anything more that I can do except for yeah those two logs, but uh, that's not very very important. But the the the, the worst uh, the worst offenders have been uh, removed, so we're not doing uh, a lot of allocations. Actually, we we barely do any allocations during the. Uh, during the, the run of the algorithm and uh, yeah because we moved everything to, to scriptable objects now I can create multiple types of uh, of cells I can make different type of uh, types of connections and yeah the next step would be except for the for the for the bursting at the jobs would be to take the result and maybe draw it in the scene using uh, using sprites or something instead of having it in the, in the console like this debug view Yeah. Yeah, but for now, as I said, uh, we're gonna we're gonna stop here. So we're in an in an okay spot uh, currently. So uh, yeah. Yeah, now that I think about it, maybe that maybe having more connections would be interesting, but the connection, so connection, yeah. have to do is create more cell types cell uh, and cornfield so it would have corn in the north and then press everywhere else display character is gonna be still a dot Make a folder. Uh, let's duplicate this. South. This will be corn. This will be grass. East. Uh, 
uh, east will be corn, this will be grass. This will be west. So corn in west and grass in east. Okay. Let's add those. Uh, new fields. Let's do a small one. Let's do a 20 by 20. Put a, a big weight on them. <laughs> yeah, I think I need um uh, four more. I need corners. I think I need, yeah, yeah. I need more, more, more types of maybe. Let's let's uh, tone down the, the grass. Let's see if you get more interesting results. Actually, oh, look at this. Our first legit no solution. Nice. Okay, so yeah, in the in situation where you'd get a no solution, you just you won't, you can't do anything about it. You you'd have to retry. I don't think there's any way you can be smart and just I don't know maybe backtrace and uh, try again or. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything you can do. Given the fact that you that everything is random, the, 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 I think your best chance is just to to just retry, and you you most probably won't hit another another dead end. I mean, it depends on the number of. Uh... There we go. Some uh, corn fields. This is nice. But yeah, we're missing a couple of, of a couple of files. Because basically we have we only have like this we have the middle one which is cornfield all the way and we have Okay, so we have this one, we have this one, this one and this one, but we don't have any corners. So that's one, uh, the, I mean, that's, we don't have the corners. And we also don't have, um, We don't have those types. Uh... 
those types of things, like uh, an inverted coin. And there will be four of them as well. Yeah, so we could just add all those. There will be like eight, eight, eight tiles to be, to be added. But one thing that would be interesting to do is, and this is an idea I got from one of Oscar's uh, tweets. Um, is okay. So you have you have your tile. Um, it would be interesting uh, to so so you um, so you have it one. It would be interesting if you can. I don't think I can do it in. Oh, I can. Uh, you defeat once and then you you can just rotate it and. Uh, Yeah, basically define it once and then use it multiple times with different rotations applied. You know, that would be that would be good. So I would have something like I don't know. I go instead of making all those four uh, tiles, I would make just the north one. Define whereby I define it here. And then have some maybe some checkboxes to say, yeah, I want to return uh, uh, rotate it by 90, 180, and uh, 270. And then all of the other uh, cells would just be there. But that is not actually not hard to do. I think. I think it might be easy to do. I mean, we would need to do a little bit of refactoring in the code, which we which we would also need to do if we want to uh, burstify the so use burst we and the and, and the jobs package. Yeah, so that that could be like the the next thing that that uh, that would be interesting to do. To have the ability to define a a, a cell once and then uh, choose if you wanna if you wanna rotate it, basically reuse it. Yeah, but that uh, I might I might do this some other time. Um, we'll see. For now, what it does, it's uh, it's 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 good enough. And I understand now that I've experimented with it. I understand the, the algorithm better, and I don't know what what I can do with it and how to do it. Yeah, I think we can uh, we can definitely use it in the game for for the reason I said last stream for for adding uh, procedural detail to the to the course like cracks and vines that uh, that sort of uh, stuff. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm gonna stop the stream here. We are uh, gonna continue either with this or with the uh, with the actual game. I don't know what to, uh, what we have to do to the game next. I'm not uh, not even sure. I have to I have to do some planning to see what what should we do next. But yeah. Um, Yeah, we're going to continue next week, next Saturday. So, uh, yeah, thanks for being here and see you next time. Bye bye.